this is Kathy from Kathy's Cards. Um, I'm doing a project share tonight. And it's a little warm down here, so I've got the fan going. So if you see my hair kind of going, just ignore it. <laughs> Anyways, um, our project was to take um, some cans. Um, it could be chicken cans, tuna cans, soup cans, whatever. And I decided to do two uh, chicken cans that I had because they're a little larger. So anyways, I've never used a, uh, you know, those type of cans before. So I wasn't sure what I was going to come up with. But I did end up coming up with kind of similar to what I do with the teacups, but this was a little more challenging. So anyways, um, this is the first one that I came up with. And as you can see, this is the can. And what I did is I had Prima paper. Bring it up closer. And... Um, I use that, I put the paper on the inside and on the outside. And I put a hole in the back of this can, because you know how I like lights, guys. So I figured out, putting a hole back there, I could have a light. So then, um, as you can see, I put this pretty chair in the back. I wanted to kind of make it a little different. Because like I said, said, the can shapes are different from like the clocks that I do, or um, the teacups that I do, but especially the clocks. So anyways, um, I got this bird from Dollar Tree, and I had this lovely flower. I got it in a dish sash, so I'm not sure exactly where the original person got it. And I have all these lovely little flowers that I got actually off of um, AliExpress. I also got these off of AliExpress, all these little flowers. And if I turn my little light on here, hopefully you can kind of see it. Um, that little tea light which I just got at the Dollar Tree just is enough of a flicker to um, you know kind of set off the bird so that's what I ended up with and I you know you'd never know that it was a can of uh, chicken and then underneath I took some pearls I had some large pearls and I used those for the feet now normally with the clocks I only need two but clocks are different they have like the front is bigger and the back is more nearer so all you need is two I tried to do that with the can and it's all even with the can and just kind of fell over <laughs> so if you do it you do need to put two on um, or maybe two and then a third uh, I just figured I would just uh, you know use the uh, four that I had and they, they're just pearls that's all they are and then that's that one there that's the pink one there it says it's probably hard to see in this light and then I did the same thing. I used Prima paper again, and I used the blue Prima paper. And this is like a uh, really rich blue. And the paper is a nice uh, nice Prima paper, but it has dark blue in it. I was trying to keep with that. And then there's some blue in the burr, too. And I have that real, it's a real shiny. Both of these roses or flowers have like a shiny uh, tint to them. And I kind of concentrated on the pink and the blue. And I'll turn the light on this one. And in the same, you can see the, the flickering of the blue one here with the little bird. And um, I did the same thing with the little pearls. And like I said, it was really easy to do. Uh, my husband a while back, uh, maybe about six months ago, I was telling him his big drill was so big. So we went to Walmart and they had like smaller drills. They had like these little, little cases and they have all the drill bits. So he kind of showed me how to use it. So he was out of town. And when I was doing these cans, I'm thinking, oh man, it would be great if I could put a tea light in there, but I need the right size. So as luck would have it, um, I remembered I had the drill kit and uh, without cutting off fingers or <laughs> anything else, I figured it out. So I was proud of myself for doing that. So anyways, if you never want to do it, there's all different lights you can use, but these tea lights uh, work out great. Because like I said, you put a hole, as long as you get that little light in there, and it, I didn't even have to glue it. It stays really good. And all you got to do is just replace the batteries. Um, because with it being on the back like that, all you do is lift that off and put a new battery in. So anyways, guys, um, this was my project share. Uh, my pink and blue uh, chicken cans, which now are uh, little bird. Not sure what you would call them, but cute little bird things. And they make nice little decorations. So um, uh, go over to uh, Tina's Crafty Life. She came up with really nice ones too. She had uh, a large can and two little ones. 
and uh, she came up with a really clever idea too so you gotta go over and check her out too and I'll try to remember to put her uh, channel down below so next Wednesday we will be on Tina's channel Tina's Crafty Life uh, have to look back now I'm not sure what we're doing next week but it will be fun and we always love having everybody come along again remember tomorrow on Tina's Crafty Life there is going to be an auction and the auction is for have a lot Jo it's her mom Joan uh, that the auction is for because her house had burned down and um, you know this is to help towards uh, rebuilding her new home so anyways we hope to see you there tomorrow it's um, e 3 o'clock Eastern and 2 o'clock Central so anyways, I hope everybody has a wonderful day, and uh, thank you for uh, letting me show you my project, and let me know what you think. Take care, everybody. God bless you.